Master Guo Lingying was born in China in 1895, before the turn of the last century. So he was of a different generation than us. So it happened that in 1975, when Siku turned 80, he planned a huge dinner celebration to commemorate the event. You have to remember that this was a time where people didn't have camera phones that they carry around with them. So any kind of footage or photos from that period are very rare. In this case, there is no film footage of the event. But fortunately, being an art student and carrying a camera around with me many times, I do have some personal photos that I took of that event that I would love to share. This is the camera that I carried around with me most of the time. It's an Olympus Pen S, which is a half frame 35 millimeter camera with a Zoico 3.5 lens. Everything is manual on it. You have a guess the distance and adjust the aperture and the speed. So you had to be pretty good at look at the lighting and be able to uh, adjust it manually. It took about, it takes twice the amount of a 35 millimeter film. So you could actually get 72 shots on one row of 35 millimeter film. If it was black and white, I would do the developing myself, but it was color, I would take it in to have a process. It's amazing that you could get such beautiful photographs off such a little camera. The camera is fairly small, but pretty heavy duty and kind of a tank. Of course, I have to remind you that these are photos that I took and so I have copyright protection. So I don't want these used by anybody commercially, but if you want to use it for your own personal use, for example, take a screenshot and have it printed up for your own personal use, that is perfectly fine by me. As my desire in this YouTube channel is to preserve the legacy of Master Guo and share those events that happened during those times at Portsmouth Square. This is a view of the studio looking from Portsmouth Square. The year is 1975, the day of the birthday celebration. The things in the window would change over the years um, and they would replace the news articles. Here's one of the news articles on the window that day. A master's formula for living until 150 years old. And this is the iconic photo of Sifu, Simu, and Jungbei that you might have seen before on the internet. Sifu in his Chong Sam, which means long gown. Simu, or Simone Kuo, looking so beautiful. And Jungbei in his red cape. Quite a photograph. This is another one of the same shot that you, that hasn't been shown before. The wind it was windy that day, so Sifu's hanging on to his hat. And one more taken at the same time. With those kind of cameras, you would usually take three or four fo shots, make sure that you got one right. This is Jung Mei at the front desk. Looks like he's on the phone calling somebody to remind them to make it to the dinner party. The desk was on the left as you entered the studio. You can see in the background there's a notice for the dinner party, June 15th, 6 p.m. at the Asia Gardens, 772 Pacific Avenue. Here's Bing leaving the studio, holding open the screen door to the studio. Normally the main door would be open and the screen door would be closed so people could um, look in. Jung Mei in his red cape. I don't remember the reason for this, but on the day of the party, Simu had his uh, shelling peas. Uh, at the very top is my wife Linda, next to her is Valerie. We're all we're good friends and spent the day, that day of the party, being together. 
Here's everybody in front of the studio getting ready to walk over to the restaurant. See if it looks pretty happy. This is our good friends Roger and Valerie on the left and Debbie and Jeff on the right. We met them at, while studying with Bing in Marin County around 1972. This is a great photo of Sifu and the group walking towards the restaurant. Sifu's in the front and right to his, uh, right next to him is Richard Vogel. And behind him is Simu. And behind Simu is Bing and Paula. Paula was Bing's wife at the time. I love this photo. Everybody looks so happy. And this black and white photo was taken by, I believe, a professional photographer. I didn't take this uh, photo. And in the center you can see Sifu and Simu and Jungmei. And right in front of Sifu, below him, you can see Bing Gong and his then wife uh, of that time, Paula. And to Paula's right is her son, Evan. I don't know why, but looking at this photo, I couldn't find myself or my wife, Linda, or any of our friends in the photo. Um, perhaps if you study with Sifu over the years, you actually might find yourself in that photo if you study with him at Porcelain Square. Of course, you could see by the amount of the people in the photo that Sifu taught a lot of people over the years. And they all loved them. This is a pretty iconic photo. I don't think it's ever been shown before. And this comes from the uh, private collection of Bing Gong.